Good afternoon, everyone. It's Adam here. I'm recording this on the GoPro, so the angle is going to be a bit wider. So if I get too close or too far, I apologize in advance. Uh, today's video is about replacing the spark plugs on the 2015 2016 uh, Mark 7 Golf R. 10,000 miles into my uh, Golf R, and um, even though that's very early on for a spark plug replacement, and VW I think recommends 40 to 50,000 miles before the first replacement or at least checking the spark plugs to see if they should be replaced. Uh, I did come across a note on APR's website, and APR is a um, Volkswagen Audi tuning company. And on their website about uh, spark plugs for the Mark 7 platform uh, Stage 1 and Stage 2, it says APR's performance software increases output substantially, and as such, APR recommends upgrading the engine spark plugs to Denso IKH24 with a .024 uh, plus and minus 0 0.002 inch gap at all stages. If the vehicle is used for any form of racing or extended wide open throttle sprints on the Autobahn. APR highly recommends upgrading the plugs for engine longevity and safety. Uh, our engines with an upgraded turbocharger, um, four engines with an upgraded turbocharger, the spark plugs are required. So uh, it, it spurred a lot of conversations on Vortex about this subject, but basically uh, a bunch of us went out and bought the, um, the Denso IKH24. A few of us grabbed these spark plugs and mine have just come in. They were uh, nine bucks a pop on uh, ECS tuning. So here we go, Iridium Power, Denso, and um, these are the IKH24 spark plugs. Four of them, obviously, four cylinder engine. So this video is gonna show us how to remove the existing spark plugs already in the car, uh, to gap these to the proper setting, and to install the new ones. Now note before we start, this is my first time ever replacing spark plugs on a German automobile. In the past, I've done it on a Camry, a Corolla, and a Maxima. So, my first time doing it. Also, my first time gapping plugs myself. So, obviously, I'm going to do this wrong. <laughs> but, possibly with this video and other videos on the internet, you'll get to um, a full, well-rounded way of doing it. So, watch mine and watch a few others that are probably recommended in the sidebar. Uh, just to make sure you're doing this right. Because, if you follow my advice completely you may end up breaking your car. Okay, and also one final thing is if you're gonna be replacing spark plugs in your car, note that um, you know these plugs are not the ones that VW recommends. Uh, they are recommended by a tuning company. So if there are engine issues that come about by using these plugs at this gap, again, you're probably liable for your, uh, your own damages. But uh, I like to follow the advice of tuning companies. Now, oh, one final thing before we get started. Uh, I'm using United Motorsport as my for my engine tune and let me just read a quick note because I emailed this to uh, to United Motorsport and I asked them what they think of the spark plug advice from APR. Uh, so Jeff Atwood at, at United Motorsport said we always recommend colder plugs than stock. Typically one or two steps colder. If you go too cold the engine can be a little cold blooded until the engine is warm. Uh, personally I run as cold of a plug as I can tolerate. We also typically run tighter gaps when experiencing misfire issues on high power applications aka a long time wide open throttle, high boost, larger turbo, etc. Uh, and Fred at United Motorsport also added that um, uh, the car will be a little cranky when the car is cold, just to give you a heads up, um, like a rough idle basically. And once the car is fully warmed up and once the temperature is outside or above you know, what we have now, 15 degrees, the car will run fine. It's just that first uh, rough idle at start, just to be aware of it, etc. But it will lead to a better engine longevity, a much happier engine, once the car is warmed up and we're running at full throttle or, you know, uh, <laughs> drag racing, whatever it is you're going to do with it. Okay, so let's get started. So we're going to show uh, taking the plugs out of the car, gapping, and then putting the new plugs in. Thanks for watching. For tools, you're going to need this, optional, which is nice for catching all the nuts and bolts. Flathead screwdriver for releasing the valve clips. Uh, this small, it is a, and I don't use the exact right sizes each time, but for you guys, this will work just fine. So this is actually a, a, a three inch extender, which is optional and a size 10 uh, socket. Uh, this is for releasing the, uh, it appear to be grounding screws. Then we've got a larger uh, extender, two six inch extenders to get all the way down into the bottom of the spark plug and a five eighths, um, a five eighths spark, spark plug. Uh, socket which is magnetic so it's easier to catch the spark plugs. I've also got a, um, a little converter here to make it work but basically that's all you need to get this job done. Okay so quick overview here of the gapping part of it. So we have our four spark plugs. Uh, they are um, 
basically pre gaff they're not quite at the area that APR recommended. So for tools, we have this guy here, this guy here, and this guy here. Uh, what they're all called and links to buy them I'll put in the description, but basically your local auto zone will have all of this stuff uh, If you want to go online and pay shipping, you're more than welcome to so we're gonna first verify um, uh, I've already gapped this one. So we're gonna take this out here. Let's see if this works Here's the spark plug. Here's this we're gonna insert the plug at the smallest end the point zero two zero and we're going to move up until we hit resistance, which is 0 0.024, plus or minus 0 0.01. And the next one here, this one has not been gapped by me yet. We're going to put this in here, and it slides all the way up to 0 0.029, so that will need to be done. So how we do that is we insert this guy here, and we keep bending until we get to the right desired level. Okay, first we're removing the engine cover. Pretty easy. If you've done this on your Golf Aria, you probably uh, shouldn't be replacing the spark plugs. Just, uh, just my opinion. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we've got these four uh, valves here. We're gonna remove each of these screws or nuts and then we'll remove the screws or bolts under them. And then we're gonna remove two, three, four plugs by removing these clips. Then we're gonna yank up and unscrew the spark plugs. Let's get started. Okay, we'll undo these. Let's give them a little turn to get them started. Pretty easy. They're not on there too tight. This is even the right uh, socket, but it gets them started. And then we just start turning like this. And then this comes off and repeat on all of them. And now repeat the same thing on each of these that are underneath the, uh, the clips here. So take these clips off. Yeah, we'll take these clips off. And loosen up each of these underneath. And repeat. Okay, next step undo each of these clips one by one. I'm just going to use a small flathead screwdriver to push these up, get them kind of started here. And then from, from there, just give it a tight yank. There we go. Just clip up, clip up, clip up, and then these just come right off. Just like that. And then these, uh, Get these fully disconnected one by one. Now, before we actually go to pull these off, I've already unscrewed them as you can see, but in order to keep dust and dirt and any debris out of the engine, uh, out of the valves, it's really good to do these one at a time. So these can be fully separated, no problem there. Once I yank this out, let's just do this one and then go one at a time through all of them, one by one. We have our first, our first covers out. We're gonna use our special sticky magnetic spark plug socket with the extension. Let's make sure this is tight first. Put it down here. Okay, at that point we have uh, taken out our stock spark plug. You can see it here, hope it's focusing or not focusing, I don't know. But uh, yeah, now we'll just put the, the replacement plugs uh, right back in. Let's get it, get started. All right, now that we have three plugs out, let's compare them to the replacement. So, yeah, there's some charring there, but at the same time, not awful. I mean, they're only 10,000 miles in, but these are the OEM plugs next to the Denso Iridia plug. Now we have all the plugs in. These are back in. We're going to do this house backwards. So these go all the way down to the ground. These go in here. Those, uh, the long screws go in and then these go on top of those long screws and then we'll do a fire up and see how it goes. Okay. Everything sounds good. We'll see how it goes with uh, full throttle. Okay, we are in uh, first here. Do a quick pull, our first. Well, second, I guess.
Yep. I think it sounds fine. I mean, it doesn't, uh, I really won't be able to tell too much about the situation until um, as I run it more, but you know, that was a pull without the oil being fully heated up at, you know, 133 is the current oil temperature. So uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. But basically that was the replacement uh, spark plug uh, run. And that was about 80% or 75% throttle roughly. 